Let's review the Fold 3D Garment tool, its options, and a couple best practices to help you succeed with folding. We're going to fold this woman's sweater. There is not an avatar in our project, and currently this is a low-res garment. I'm going to select all the pattern pieces and rotate it in the 3D window so that it lays parallel to the ground. I'm going to right click and say move to ground center and simulate my garment so that it falls flat onto the ground. I'm going to go ahead now and hide the 2D window because we're going to be doing all of our folding here in the 3D window. And I'm going to look at this from the top. Here in our toolbar is our Fold 3D Garment tool. When we click the tool, we get options here in this Fold 3D Garment toolbox. This option will rotate the garment 90 degree angles all the way around. This option will flip the garment over the X axis. And in this case, this is what we want so that it flips it from front to back. This option here will optimize the garment for folding. These are the default options. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And then I am going to simulate so that this resets on the ground. This button here is going to add, this works like strengthening, and it is going to add some stiffness to our garment so that we can get all the wrinkles out of the pattern pieces. This option here also adds some strengthening. It'll make it easy for us to fold. This is our first fold option here, simply called fold. I'm going to rotate my screen so that the neck is further back and the waist is close, is facing towards me. When I click this tool here, I am simply going to draw a line over my garment. I am using the cable here as a reference line. I simply then double click. When I double click, I get this gizmo here, which is similar to our fold arrangement tool. I'm going to rotate the outer arrow up, and this is going to rotate the outer port of my portion of my garment over. I could continue to make folds here if I would like, but I am going to simulate this so this falls into place. The last option here is the Fold Selected tool. My cursor is telling me what I need to do. Please select Pattern to Fold and press Enter. I would like to fold this sleeve. Because the cuff is connected to the sleeve, I also have to select that. And then I need to press enter or return on my keyboard. I can then use my cursor to draw my fold line. And I again get my gizmo to fold over my sleeve. I would like this sleeve to line up with the bottom of my sweater here. So I am going to simulate and while it's simulating i'm simply going to tug this across so that it lays within the boundaries here of my sweater now i'm going to sold, fold the other half of the gar the sweater again the fold tool I'm going to start by clicking outside of the garment using the cable as a reference point. Double click and I'm going to fold over the garment and simulate.
Now, this sleeve that is here, I want to have this fold around the front when I'm finished to show the cuff detail. So I'm going to fold this back now using, again, the Fold Selected tool. Finally, I would like to fold the bottom half up. Again, I'm going to use the fold tool, start outside of the garment, double click, and I'm, so, I'm going to fold this, fold the bottom up so that it is flat. Whoops. Finally, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the flip horizontally option to flip this over. And there is my sweater. I'm going to simulate so that this falls down. And my final task here is to fold this arm that is sticking out. And I can use either tool here because this piece is outside of the rest of the garment. And I'm going to simulate. I am now finished folding my sweater. I'm going to just click my selection tool, convert this to a high resolution garment, and simulate. And I can move forward from there.